On the border between the prefectures of Yamanashi and Nagano, Japan, towers a rocky peak, nearly 2,600 meters high. A venerable member of the Japanese hundred famous mountains, its challenging terrain and breathtaking vistas are just an adventure away. Welcome to Mizugaki Sanso. Or should I say welcome back? So that is Mount Mizugaki behind me. I've actually done Mount Mizugaki last year already. I didn't do Mount Kimpu because of an equipment malfunction, so I had to give it up. So I'm back this year to do it again. So I'm still going to camp a night. The plan goes something like this. On the first day, I will proceed to set up camp at the Fujimi Daira hut, and then scout out part of the trail, visiting some of the landmarks. I'll return to camp for the night, and then set out early the next morning on the full trek towards the summit of Mount Kimpu. Before returning the way I came, breaking camp, and then catching the bus from the trailhead. So I'm now at the campsite, just registered. Gonna look for a place to camp and unload all of this stuff that's on my back. Okay, that took a lot longer than I would have preferred. Now I could kind of just rest and have lunch, but I'm feeling like making a bit more progress. I don't know what that is. It's some kind of fungus. Man, these uphills are still brutal, man. On the good side, my backpack is light as a center right now.
time for lunch. Kind of the plan for today is to just kind of scout out the route, some of the landmarks that I'll probably skip tomorrow, so that tomorrow I can just go straight to the top. I feel a bit heavy, I haven't been hiking for a while. Probably I will not film as much tomorrow. I'm just gonna try to make time because the bus leaves really early. Okay, refueling is done. That rice ball I found in the convenience store, tomato risotto flavor, that stuff is good, man. I have no words. It was forest all the way, then the tree line just broke suddenly. And then you have this rocky edifice overlooking this vast landscape. I've been filming a bit too much and I've been sitting here gawking at this for maybe a bit too long. So I'm going to turn back here. I don't think I'm missing anything. This is amazing. They're like layers, layers of mountains. Right, time to do the long hike back to the campsite. Try not to strain my knees before the real hike tomorrow. It's golden hour. Okay, so 
so it turns out it's just something that grows in trees. What an alien like fruit. It's really peaceful and quiet now. That was why I wanted to hurry back. I really wanted to catch the sunset. Just relax here. Watch the sun go down. You know, it's very green along the trail. I think there's a lot of pine trees up there. But here in the campsite, there's, there's a palpable feeling of autumn. Off to get some water. We need water because tonight we must dine well. Give me the water. Give me all of it. Upsides of Japanese campsites Facilities Drinking water Toilets Downside You have to pay This one is a thousand yen Dinner time, the temperature has dropped very quickly after the sun went down. I've got some instant dry curry rice. Hopefully it's good. Also, beef stew, instant cheap stuff, but usually quite good. So I've got a leftover rice ball for lunch. I'm gonna try something really crazy right now. Let's see if I regret this. <laughs> Guys, this is really, really good. <laughs> oh my god. Buy a rice ball, buy a cheap stew, pour it over the rice ball. Oh god. This is kind of alright as well. The chief advantage it has is that it's warm. The downside of the rice ball stew is that my rice ball's been out for the whole day so it's ice cold. And so it instantly cooled down the stew. Still man, who the thunk that tuna mayo could go so well with instant beef stew? <laughs> Happiness is eating a good meal, son. <laughs> so it is 6.16. It's completely dark. Except for some lights at the hut. That's one time over there that still has the lights on. I think people will retire early. So will I. I have an early start tomorrow. But I'm feeling really relaxed now. So quiet. I'm gonna enjoy the night a bit. 
so I can't capture it with the camera, but there are stars. It's a clear night. That's also the moon. I'll probably make a half-hearted attempt to film that. Morning. It's about five. And I'm really reluctant to get out of my get out of my sleeping bag, which is pretty warm right now. I could easily keep on sleeping. I had trouble falling asleep, but once I did, then I didn't have trouble sleeping till morning. Royal milk tea to start off the morning. Mm. So the sun has risen much more quickly than the last time I was here. Part of the trail will be the challenge. Steep hike up to Dainichi Iwa. Actually, I think we can see from here, dang. Entering a new part of the trail now, and I'm behind on time. Yay! Trail junction, at last. Who the heck said the map time on this stretch of 25 minutes, man? It's brutal. The sun is up. I'm kind of dying. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. The guy earlier was saying that the view is going to be great all the way from here on out.
Final push. Final push. Okay, this wasn't the summit. That's the summit. Oh God. Ass thin up here. Made it. Made it. Honestly, the primary feeling now I have is relief. What a relief. Jeez. It was almost one hour later than the map time. Which is not good. I'm not too worried. In the worst case, I can actually camp for one more night. I have enough supplies. Once I got high enough, man, that altitude. Just couldn't catch my breath. Slowed down a whole bunch. But now I'm here and I'm gonna enjoy it. Save some apple juice for this moment. <sighs> apple juice is good. Well, you're exhausted. Oh yeah. You know, like many people say, mountain climbing is a journey. You can't get too fixated on the summit. And oftentimes the summit isn't even, you know, the place with the best view or any such thing. There's no holy aura waiting for you at the summit. But you still have to aim for a summit. Not because you really want whatever it is that's on the summit, but because that marks the end of your journey. It's a little like life. You need to have direction. And with direction, you can have hope. And living with hope means you can live through all the ups and downs faith. Speaking of faith, I'm not talking about that belief without evidence stuff. Think of faith as the opposite of cynicism. You don't constantly complain about how everyone has it better, how you have to work so hard and all of that stuff. Rather, you know, you just hold on to your own life. Recognize that the battles are yours. And you live them and you fight them faithfully. There was a typhoon here in Japan a few weeks ago. And the guys that run the hut, they actually came out and cleared the trail of debris and then posted on their Facebook page to say that the route to Mount Kimpu is now good for hiking. Shout out to them, you guys are heroes. Okay, just in case you're wondering, I did make it on the last bus and now I'm here to soak myself in radium germanium. 
whatever. But the post height on sale is essential. Man, it's early.